police sirens. Eight o'clock in the morning. A little early for that, you know, you think? Come on, Chicago. Get it together. back to southern Illinois. Robbie, thanks for all your hospitality and we will see you soon. Uh, be safe, man. Any words for YouTube? No. <laughs> A man of many words. <laughs> well, we are on our way back now to southern Illinois and we're leaving the city of Chicago, the south side, as you can see by the scenery. To take us about oh, seven hours or so. We're going to take a different route back home because the one coming up north was pretty boring, pretty flat. So let's hope that uh, there's more adventure waiting for us on the return trip. Police sirens. Eight o'clock in the morning. A little early for that, you know, you think? Come on, Chicago. Get it together. We're gonna have some breakfast at the USA restaurant. What's the name of this town, Jimmy? Uh, Grant, Park. Grant Park. That's what it sounds like. Okay. And we're here at the USA restaurant this morning. And we're being served by, what's your Cindy. By the lovely waitress, Cindy. And uh, what, what are we going to eat, Jimmy? Breakfast. Breakfast? Good choice. <laughs> Cindy is leaving for vacation tomorrow. I told her I was a minister and asked her if she needed prayer. So we're going to pray for her and her trip. She's taking the grandkids off to Pennsylvania. Now that I can think of offhand, I know when you guys leave, I want you to start eating and then I'll start talking. <laughs> <laughs> Waitresses do that, you know? <laughs> so do pastors. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just got done eating breakfast at the USA restaurant in Grant Park, Illinois, and uh, got to meet a nice waitress by the name of Cindy. So just remember Cindy in your prayers. She was very nice to us. And it was good to meet you, Cindy. What is going on here? What are you doing? Do you not see us? There was a sign up a few blocks back, I guess, a half a mile back, that said this highway uh, had fresh oil on it. You can tell. There's just a real nice sheen right over the surface. So we're kind of taking it easy so that we're not sliding all the way down the highway. We took off a detour following the historic Route 66. I guess this is like a, an old Route 66 thing here. Yeah, let's try this. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay. We're winding down this road. I was telling Jim that we were on historic Route 66 and I didn't see anything that stands out. And Jim said, yeah, more like children of the corn. <laughs> so if we end up on the chain gang, we're in some town, Odell, Illinois, <laughs> on Route 66. We're getting ready to go into the Old Standard Oil Company and see what they got in here. Look at that old gas tank. Hello. Hi. Hi. Got an old chopper in there. Beautiful day, thank you. I'm just recording a little bit. I just need. What's your name? 
What's that? That's a really little recorder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, look at the old bottles. That's neat. And the Schlitz cooler. <laughs> Schlitz. A Yamaha. Yeah. I've seen this place on TV. On TV? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Look, they got Coke in those bottles. These are old historic Route 66, Standard Oil Company. Looks like a gas station. saw a sign for the historic Route 66 Museum. We're going to go ahead and take a look. Where's the entrance? Howdy. Oh, that's cool. That's the way to travel right there. Route 66 Museum. Oh, it's pretty nice. Wasn't all that to write home about. <laughs> tour for historic route 66 and I was you know coming down with pretty good speed I tried to take that turn and realized soon that I had made a mistake and uh, I tried to slam on the brakes and I went uh, skidding down the road I was able to recover thank God but that was a close one and I gonna have to pull over now and change my shorts Crap, look at this dip here. Me? <laughs> there was nothing to stop at. My knuckles are bothering me, man. We are in the town of Vandalia in Illinois. And uh, we stopped at the Rancho Nuevo. That means the new ranch is Rancho Nuevo. My wife was making fun of me for not using the Hispanic accent. So I guess I was sounding too white. So it's the Rancho Nuevo. Well, the Rancho Nuevo was closed 
What do you think about that, dude? Lights are on and nobody's home. The TV screen is on in there, and nobody's there's nobody home. here. Okay, on to the next one. All right, so just about a few minutes ago, before we left, or right after we left that restaurant that was closed, me like a dummy, I put my helmet on the back rest of the back seat because I was just going to go up the road maybe a half a mile. Well, I don't know, it must have been wind or whatever, or luck. Picked up the helmet, slung it off my bike and into the road, and Jim stopped and got it. Look at the helmet now. Scuffed it up real well. And it, look at the case for the GoPro. That case saved the camera. The communication device that Jimmy gave us a while back, it ripped the microphone right out of it. So I'll have to order a new microphone. Anyway, we're now at Los Amigos. So let's see how Los Amigos tastes. Well, this looks yummy at the Los Amigos Los Amigos Mexican restaurant in Vandalia. I ordered the burrito, which is usually common for me. And Jim opted for the carnitas. That looks delicious. But as we say in English, buen provecho. Brother, God bless you, be safe getting home. All right, what'd you think of the trip? I really appreciate everything. You have a good time? All right. I'll call you later on. Be careful when you get home. Well, we have arrived. Thank you for coming on this trip with us. And as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And we will see you in the next video. And until then, I'm wishing you peace and throttle.